Hello everyone. Today I'm kind of experimenting here, so st hopefully stick with me and this won't turn out to be a disaster. Uh, this is a page out of a fun book I have. Um, I really need to go get a book I could tear up, but this is a page from Bella Tuscany, a book I have. And it's got a little recipe on here about wine, fruits, and some things like that. So I wanted to try and see if I could paint on this. As you can see, the paper is really old. It's all yellowed, which is great. That's what I wanted. Um, but I'm going to see if I can just paint maybe some leaves and things on here. And because this is such a thin paper, I'm going to assume I have to go somewhat thicker paint not so much water so it doesn't warp. I've never tried this before, you guys, so bear with me. I have not too much water in here. I mean, my mixture is probably, oh, 50-50, 50 water, 50 paint pigment. But then before I pick it up, I'm really tapping it off to get a lot of that liquid out of my brush. I don't want to dry brush, but I don't want it to be too wet because right away I'm going to assume this is going to buckle and do all kinds of crazy things. Let's go ahead and begin, or I'm going to, with the point of my brush resting my uh, side of my palm on my paper and very light pressure pointing the back of my brush in the direction I want to move. Light pressure using the tip of my brush. So good so far. Now I'm going to assume this will buckle a little, but I'm hoping to avoid too much and why I'm using a little bit thicker paint. Probably gouache would even be really great with this. I won't be able to do too much like wet and wet because this paper is so thin and I'm trying to not get it too wet. There we go. And then let me go over that with some leaves. So again, picking up some paint, but I'm gonna tap off. So I've got doesn't matter how much water or big of a puddle I have in there, as long as I tap off and get rid of that excess paint. And then I'm gonna go in with a point, press, point, point, press, point, press, point, press. Now there, point, press, point, press, point, press. It's point press. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of brown. I love brown with my leaves. I always think that's so pretty. There we go. Okay, let's do a few more. Pick up some more of that paint. Point press. I'm even using the side of my brush a bit. Point point press. What's nice about this though is I can still read what's on the recipe, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to completely cover that up. Point press. There we go. Just drawing some interesting things on the side of our leaves. I'm going to go into, of course, if you know me and watch me, you know how much I love my metallics. Point there we go. Just creating another little side there. Maybe a little bit of brown. Letting that mix in a bit. So I'm quite shocked that this paper isn't just completely buckling up. That's kind of a surprise for me. And then let's do, since they're talking about wine, maybe let's do a little purplish grape. Or... I don't know what this will be, but I'm gonna add these in here. Now, these are covering up the writing a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Just using the side of my brush. And I love mixing my colors on my paper, so 
I'm kind of letting these blend here just on the paper in color. So that's kind of pretty. I almost hate to cover up the recipe, but I think you'll still be able to see this. And I think this would be really pretty in a little kitchen. Now let's go in with some of that green. Let me grab a little bit more. That's a sap green. I wanna get a little bit more of like an olivey green. There we go. And let's just go in and using light, light pressure, tip of my brush and create just some little, so these are all connected and don't look like they're just fruit floating in the middle of everything. And then the last thing I wanna do is, of course, you know, I love the MAB uh, Metallics, not affiliated with her. And I'm gonna use the Golden Series. Look at, I, I wish I could show you better how this just flows in this tin. I love it. So loading my brush and going to just tap off a little. And I'm going to go in, let me, well, I can't really zoom in because then you'll miss some of that on top. So, <gasps> ooh, <gasps> yeah, exactly what I wanted. That's pretty. You guys, you know what? Okay, so I don't happen to do this very often with my own paintings. I think I might put this in a little frame and hang this in my kitchen. I'm kind of liking it. And it has a recipe on it, so that's kind of cool too. Just gonna go in, add some little swishes and doodads here. I really like the gold here. I think that's very pretty. And I could even go in, let's see, do I have her other metallics here? I've got some holographic, oh yeah, maybe holographic. That's my other real favorite. Let's go in there and grab some of that. The holographic is like the silvers, but um, it's, I'm gonna use this one here. I think that's my favorite one. Uh, but it's got some different colors in it. So it's even got a little purple in it, which is what made me think of it because of those purple grapes or whatever berries, whatever those happen to be. I'm just gonna use the side of my brush. Ooh, look how fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna be so cute on a little kitchen. Um, somewhere in my kitchen. And what I love is I can still see the writing. I'm so excited I did this. I don't even remember one of you asked me about this and said, how fun would that be to do a painting on a book page? And I said, I would look into it. So there you go. This will be really, I think, fun. Um, and I would say choose a page. A lot of you have probably already done this. This is just maybe new to me. But um, choose a page that, you know, is kind of yellowed like that. And you know what else I'm wondering? Let me try something real quick. Oh, you know, I don't think I have any right here. This might be really pretty on that old Nomad vintage paper. I wish I had a sheet here, but I don't. Um, but I feel like this could be really pretty on something else. And maybe this lift it up a bit. Okay, I'm kind of going crazy here now. Maybe put this on a piece of, of um, not styrofoam, but something to lift it up off of the um, back paper and then frame it. Oh my gosh, that would be really pretty. So anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. I'm going to frame this. Maybe I'll show you a picture of it and hang this in my kitchen because I'm pretty pleased with this for the first time I've ever painted on a book page. I think this is really fun. So thank you again for your inspiration and giving me these ideas. Love, I'm still using tons of these MAB metallics. I just love them. My favorite are the Holographic Golden Series and the Mirror Series. So those are my three favorites. Um, the other paint I was using was my My Lang. I kind of used what was in my palette here, which I do that a lot, um, but those were my laying paints. All right, everybody, I'm going to probably play with this just a tiny bit more, 
and I hope you give it a try too, just to add in maybe some little dark, darker shades. Sorry, I just, I don't want to do something and it's a big difference and then I didn't show you. Yeah, that kind of adds some depth here to some of these, which is always kind of interesting. There you go. All right, everybody, have fun. That's the main thing I, I always try to say to you. Just have fun, go free, you know, do some practices, see what comes up. That's when I've always discovered and done my best work. All right, happy painting, everybody, and thank you so much for being a part of my little community here. I love to see your comments and your paintings, and I will talk to you soon.